Hey, welcome back to another episode from Life for Living Well. My name is Richard. Before I dive into the topic I have for you this week, I quickly want to say if you'd like to know one or two things about Life for Living Well, you can check it out on our website at www.lifeforlivingwell.com. I'm going to try and make the video short compared to the podcast but if you like to see the full length of the podcast you can actually listen to it on Spotify if you have the access to it so if you just type lifeforlivingware.com you will see all the podcasts or go to our website you see all the articles that we released so far so let's get started to it uh, the topic I'm looking into this week is what I call failing life. We live in the times where people feel good about themselves if they have more than their neighbors. Or people feel great about themselves if the fortune of their neighbor is adversely bad compared to them. And so when these people are a change in status, a change in income, a change in society or group of friends that they have, two or three things I notice that happen to them a lot is it create a lower emotions in them, like shame. Some even have serious clinical depression as a result of it. Some even think their life is not worth living if what they hold very important in their life is gone, is mixing. You've seen people that they stay for years in abusive relationship, that they all the purpose of their life is defined in having someone in their life. Even though the individual that in their life is unnatural for them longer time. So the podcast this week is looking to what is failing in life and why it shouldn't define you as a person. So firstly, let's see what Enos Roosevelt said about it. She once said, if life were predictable, it would cease to be life and be without flavor. So it means that what will happen to you tomorrow, you have no idea of it. You can't control it. There's no way you will know most of those things. And because shit happens, doesn't mean your life is shit or your life remains shit. The only way you remain shit is your own attitude and national behavior when that happened to you. So, failing life should not define you. And that whether you like it or not, many of us will go through it at one point in our life. Some will fail in the relationship and it depends on their attitude and behavior and their ability to bring themselves back based on taking the opportunity to work on themselves. There's a passage in the scripture that says can two work together unless they agree. Not everyone will be in the same level of truth that you are. And everyone different level of truths are so different. And they will make a lot of decisions based on what is truth for them, not what is truth for you. And so liberating when you find your own tribes. It literally. When you find your own tribes, what I mean by this is when you find a group of people that share the same dreams and goals, have the same aspiration, 
have the same purpose of drive of working on yourself developing yourself things moving in a way that very peace and calm you will notice if you are individual listening or watching this uh, video today if you come with a family if you pay attention very well you will see that even your siblings you might have raised from the same home but when you become an adult you totally act in each individual self-interest your own sibling self-interest might not in line with your own current self-interest sometimes you will do push and pull sometimes you probably not talking to each other for a long time but if you have a sibling that you're able to work together regardless of the different level of truth that you find yourself it also brings something into your life one of the poem of king solomon that i love to read many many years ago i find his poem very open and very engaging very certain at the same time one day he wrote to one of his lover and he had to assure his lover because of the difficulties that their relationship is going through he has to assure the, the lover despite the fact that he have no other time physical time to be to share the same space together for a while and he wrote and he said i assure you that many water cannot quench the love that i have for you so even the wisest guy in the world at that time according to the scripture king solomon even his own relationship are uh, challenges and the action that he took is what keep that relationship exist even after the many waters which is in this particular poem is referring to challenges in referring to obstacles and you know is there anything that can pass through the obstacle is the water and he used that opportunity to tell his lover that as much as the difficulties we have today it will not stop me loving you so you might be the person failing in your in your goals in life thinking i always want to do this achieve this so now i can't achieve it anymore so that means i feel you are not you might be failing in your current relationship that doesn't define you you might end up going when you uh, figure out what your contribution in that relationship what you may need to do with yourself not the other person sometimes we focus our energy to fix other people we think if we can just make them think or do this everything will be perfect that is out of your control most time if you really want to solve any problem start from you because once you are work on yourself to the point you might actually realize that this person might not be the right person for you rather than fixing this person and bringing them or, or it could be other way around this person might now see different person that they never noticed about you and that might encourage them to work on themselves the thing is it's not always easy for somebody to change for you because if they don't see anything wrong with them why would they have to change all they see is everything you are not doing right so if you are failing in your relationship if you are failing in your business if you even have a failing in your career maybe you feel like you are stuck and every new person that join your teams are being fast-tracked promoted above you 
it could not be it may be nothing to do about you it might be people that have the economic political power in that role that making judgment about you why not find the time to find out maybe it's something to do about you maybe you are not pulling your weight as you can pull your weight maybe you are just do bare minimum maybe you used to go extra mile and you just stopped and if you do all those things what will happen to you is you will begin to create opportunity for yourself whether within the organization you are or outside of it so they are just an they are just um, attributions that you need to move to push because creating that opportunity is within you it's not in the hand of anybody no one can create that for you except yourself so the purpose of the video blog or this community called life for living well we're a group of community is to give the power back to you as an individual and says that what happened to you you might not be responsible to it but how you act how you change that is within your control and your power so family in life must and should not define who you are you go throughout the life history you meet men and women that they have transformed their life a woman once told me that someone told her in a church that she is too old to be married so i said to her leave that church so i asked her how old are you she's 36 do you want to be married and she said yes are you in a relationship she said not yet so what's stopping you so leave that church many years ago i wanted to learn how to swim and i went someone recommended a swimming adult swimming class center to me so i went there and there was four or five of us that at the same time and the lady that was taking the class she probably in her late 50s or something being the only uh, black guy in the pool the word of the trainer was the word that actually going to kill my dreams of swimming in a few months time it's gonna kill us every time I struggle to float she will say well like oh you're black you have a big bone it's not in racist it's just someone loose with the word oh swimming is is not for you you should be just do athletics and if you look around especially if you come from a part of africa where there is no enough water so many people water sport is not something come natural for you so you probably do more athletics that doesn't mean that you can't swim if you have the opportunity to do it in my own case i have the opportunity to do it so i wanted to swim with the dolphin but to swim with the dolphin is a goal but actually to actually do it i have to know how to swim so the lady said after three weeks or four weeks i still can after two weeks i still can float she said see me is probably not for you because your bone is heavy so you can't float there's something inside of me being child with that statement because i didn't see it as a fact i see it as an opinion and anything that is opinion you always have to be skeptical about it because this individual is coming from the level of their own truth and if your if their level of truth is here and your level of truth is here whatever is powerful is always overcome what is forceful it means that this opinion is false it's not truth if it's truth it will be self-evidence so look at now if i don't know the day you are now watching this video 
if this is if the sun outside it is self-evidence you can't hide it if the moon come in the evening it is self-evidence you can't hide it that is truth so what did i do i go home i search again different places to do and i went there and i found this young lady that she was so full of energy she was so positive she was so encouraging and i narrated where i am in the terms of swimming and the current feedback i got from the trainer and she wasn't buying to it friends i'm telling you about three weeks later i was able to swim from the one end of the pool to the other end of the pool without using floats to me was is one of the most joyful of my life because i have a water phobia and i have to confront that phobia and i have to learn as an adult to swim and now when i go on holiday and i jump to the open ocean and swim you will tell that i have swimming from the childhood i am i wasn't so what i'm saying in actual fact that your failure shouldn't define you other people might want to define you the way they want don't let them do so don't let them do so we live in the world that they have created alternative truths but there is no alternative truth there's no truth there's only one truth and it's self-evidence and it's more important that you able to not let your ego and your pride to deny the truth so once you confront it you it take courage to confront truth and once you're able to confront it and you see what is self-evident the acceptance come naturally and acceptance means that your level of energy has increased because what happened in the world today is full of resistance it's full of contrarian people just disagree just based on what they feel not the level of the truth another area that i wanted to bring out how people allow their emotion to cripple them is the area where people are lacking in money i'm not a financial expert and i suggest that there's so many good videos written about this particular topic on youtube itself you should take your time to watch this kind of video as well if you're really struggling with your finances and you have a very poor management in this area because everything linked together and it determine whether you get out of it quicker or you stay too long on it but what i'm going to say is that there's many people that they don't even have 300 pounds or 300 dollars in their emergency savings account if they have expenses of 50 pounds they need to call friends or go to the shack to borrow that money to sort the issue out that shouldn't be it's not healthy for your well-being it creates unnecessary anxious and worry for you just imagine a family of for with two kids and you always worry what your family will eat in a week but the same people that don't have 300 pounds in their emergency savings account guess what they blow over 600 pounds a year on buy lottery ticket buy a scratch card if you're going to do things like that if you're going to buy it Try and have some money. Someone say at least have a thousand pound or dollar in your emergency savings account. And if you still want to buy a scratch card, be in control of it. So at the end of the day, this individual dream of becoming loaded with money, millionaire or billionaire or rich, which is a good aspiration. Nothing wrong with that. But the way they're doing it is gambling, not based on fact, not based on truth. And they don't have 
minimum of just 300 pound in their emergency account and they went on and blow 600 pound a year on buying lottery ticket if you change your attitude in this way you change your habit in this way you bound not to remain failing in this area again so i'm going to bring this video log into the end this week and i'm going to leave you with a spanish word that is sounds simple it's a one word but it carry a lot of things and it's called mayana and in spanish mayana just means tomorrow and it is the word that carry a lot of weight it carry a lot of weight because naturally we push things that we can do today we push it to tomorrow and if you if you become a habit for you it's becoming a a trademark that it keep you stay in failing so long that is necessary so i'm encouraging you today cut mayana out of your life whatever you can able to do today don't push it for tomorrow do it today your action and your attitude will determine whether you stay long in failing or you get out of it but i'm assuring you that Staying in failing is not meant to define you permanently. It should empower you. It should outgrow you. It should support you. So I hope this podcast helps someone. Until we meet again next week, have a wonderful week. As they say, ciao.